Hello everyone. This is Maribel from So Aspire. And um, the reason for my video today is I'm gonna make a short, quick video. Um, like you all know, um, once in a while I will do handbags. I love making handbags. And um, what occur here is somehow in my hands, I had ink, okay? Now this is vinyl uh, and it's white. And somehow the ink, I don't know if you can see it, transparent went um, to my bag here, you can see it. So I had the ink all over the place. I have tried everything from soap, uh, detergents, uh, my own stuff, just to kind of clean it off and I wasn't able, I wasn't successful, um, which is very upsetting. So, um, I did try a little spot. Now, what I'm going to tell you in order to get this removed, okay, you're using this on your own risk, okay? What I would suggest for everyone is basically first try it out on uh, another piece of material, the same material, but try it out first and add some ink to it. Try it first, let it sit for a day or so. Try it out and then... Um, Try make sure that you're not taking the, I guess, you're not damaging the fabric, should I say, okay? And um, so I've used leather cleaners, spot cleaners, everything you can think of. And it's really killing me because I put a lot of work into this bag and to see that um, it has ink, really upset, you know, it's just upsetting. Anyway, so at this point, what I have come up with, um, like I said, I've used many other products. So what I'm gonna do in this little jar that I have here, I have nail polish remover. Yes, nail polish remover. Um, I'm gonna try and see if I can take it off. I did try, I had some here and it did come off. Uh, I'm gonna do it in sections, little by little. Uh, I will do a little section with you guys and um, so I can show you my method of doing this, okay? And I have this here. I originally started with a piece of cotton, I mean, a little towel. Just remember, I have this here to soak up, but I noticed that this soaks up a lot of, it, it'll soak it up and dry out real quickly the nail polish i'm going to attempt to use a cotton ball so it can absorb it um like i said again you must try this out first on your own wrist on a separate little piece before you put it on your bag and your color comes off of your bag i'm not responsible but i do want to share this little tip with you guys i'm soaking up my cotton and I do apologize, my doggy just walked in, so you may hear him. Um, and I'm going to evenly just try to soak it up. Okay, and you will start seeing ooh, that it will disappear. And it's ink. I've tried everything else and I couldn't do it. Okay, then with a wet cloth, uh, with a little bit of soap, you can dab it and see, okay, just move on to the next. I don't want to continue in the same spot, okay, um, I will come back to it. I just want to see how much I can get off first, and hopefully I won't ruin my vinyl. I mean, at this point, I couldn't even sell this bag even if I wanted to because who would buy it with ink? Uh, it would have to, and I'll probably end up keeping it anyway for myself at this point. Um, I do have several bags like this that I just finished. Um, so if this doesn't work out, and it looks like it is, guys. It looks like it's really working. So I'm really super happy. And it's not taking um, the color off the vinyl. That's my concern. Do not, you know that it doesn't happen. I'll come back to those spots again. Um, I don't want to overdo it. I'm doing it little by little. You can hear me dabbing. 
You really want it to soak up. All right. At least, if I can't sell it at this point, at least I can use it, you know, and it's not a total loss. I really don't even know what happened or how this occurred, which is very frustrating, especially on white, you know. Um, I am scrubbing pretty hard, actually. I've not seen this on any other YouTube channels. I'm just taking a risk. I really am taking a risk. Uh, but once again, it's, you know, it's my bag at this point. Um, oh, it's coming out real nice. I just don't want it to eat up the vinyl. Um, what I'm going to do once I clean it all up, I will probably put um, leather conditioner on it. I know it's vinyl, but just to kind of give it a little sheen. And I don't think it's affecting it in any way. I'm not sure if you can see what's going on here. I do have too much light. Let me see if I can move the camera over a little bit. Okay. All right, we're gonna go for this big one. All right, let's see. Let me get my hand in here. I don't know where, I mean, my sewing room, my suite, it's really nice and clean, so I don't know where this or how it happened. You know, like I said, um, I think I had ink in my hand, maybe from marking a pattern. That's the only thing that I can come up with. But as you can see, it is coming off. Little by little, it's coming off. I just have to have a lot of patience. And um, that will work. I had to stop the video because the dog walked in, but we're still at the same process. Okay. I'm um, gonna come over here and see if I can remove this ink. If it feels tacky, stop what you're doing, okay? Um, not tacky at all but hopefully this will remove the ink and um we can wear this bag Alrighty. i saturated the cotton um so it can actually absorb and try not to just go one direction and i'll tell you because the way this fabric is, has a little texture. So you wanna make sure you can get between those little texture, the texture, okay? Um, I can honestly tell you I was extremely upset when I saw that I had ink and that I had to go through this process, just the process of knowing that I'm using uh, nail polish remover, <laughs> acetone. Uh, it's scary, it really is, but I refuse to lose my bag. And I worked so hard to make this bag. Okay. Um, as you guys can see, the ink is coming off. It is a slow process. Um, I'm really happy with the way it's turning out. Okay. I am going to use this cloth. And it just has water. Okay. And then I'm going to come back to it. I just want to give it a chance to dry up a little bit and see what happens. All right, let's go on. I see a little bit here. I don't know if you can see it. I hope you guys can see it. I've tried one of these erasers. Doesn't work. <coughs> Sorry, guys. I do apologize. Um, 
He has to do it. It's getting too late. All right. He's really doing a wonderful job. You just have to have patience, a lot of patience to get this off. Really looks good so far. Hopefully, if you have ink on your bag, I hope it wasn't as much as what I had because I had a ton of ink. And um, I honestly just don't know how I did it. I've been crying about this bag for months now and trying to figure out how to do it. And finally, I had the nerves today. I said, oh, you know what? I'm just going to try it and see. Wow. It's amazing. I didn't really think it was going to work. And to top it off, to put it on YouTube. I'm excited to get this off. Months and months of just trying to figure out how to take this. In fact, um, I did ask questions to a couple people on YouTube. Nobody had any idea how to take it off. They said paint thinner, which is probably like acetone, but I thought that would be too much. I didn't try it. Anyway, um... This is my tip of the day. So hopefully you guys can try it too. And it's coming out pretty good. If you saw it from the beginning, you know exactly that I had a lot. I'm gonna do this in section, guys. <coughs> okay. I have here a uh, leather conditioner, which I'll, I will be applying to it once I am completely satisfied. It looks a lot better. Anyway, at least I can use the bag now, even if I don't sell it. <coughs> I do apologize again. Okay, we're gonna go back in with a nice clean one. And it's a cotton ball and acetone to remove ink on my vinyl. This is vinyl, guys. All right, so it is not a natural leather so it looks like it's working and it's not even eating out on I mean, it's not taking off the paint which is what i was afraid of all right take your time rubbing it let me know what you guys think about this video if you have a, be a better solution let me know as well i mean these things do happen um unfortunately and um we can correct it and not get rid of our bags or damage the vinyl that we're working with, which is one of the big things. And my biggest hurdle is that um, it's on a white bag in the front of the bag. So, yeah. Anyway, that's the tip for the day. As you can see, I am actually working on another one. Um, which I'm really excited about. So I will show you real quickly. This will be the front of the bag. Really cute. Um, all right, I'm gonna keep cleaning and it looks a lot better than before. And like, Subscribe, let me know what you think. Put your comments in the bottom. Um, and uh, I'll continue bringing you guys more tips as we go along. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video and see you guys soon. Bye.